Hi guys, it's Magnus's six month update already. He turned six months on the 26th of August and I can't believe he is six months old already. Like, it seems like just yesterday he was like a tiny little speck in my belly and now he's a six month old baby, it's crazy. So yeah, I'm just gonna tell you a bit about what he's been up to this month. Weight wise, he was last weighed on the 1st of August and he was 19 pound eight. So I'm due to have him weighed again on the 4th when we've got his six month development check with the health visitor. And he's probably gonna be about 22 pounds, which is kind of scary. I'm hoping his growth has slowed down a little bit because he has been averaging about two pounds a month, which is pretty insane. He is currently between six to nine months and nine to 12 month clothing. Like he can fit in both, but six to nine months is a little bit small and nine to 12 is a little bit big. So yeah, he's at that kind of awkward stage. <laughs> he is currently just into everything. He is always on the lookout for the next thing to play with. He wants to see how everything works, how everything tastes and he just he's such a playful curious young man who has just dropped his ball on the floor you okay hopefully he'll be able to get out of this video without it but yeah he just loves playing with anything and everything and sometimes he'll like if you go out like he'll go after like the TV remote, the Xbox controller and stuff like that and you move them and he's just come like right okay that's gone what can I play with next so kind of that kind of thing which yeah it's kind of obviously not great like with TV controls and stuff but it's nice to see kind of that playful side coming out now he's definitely getting a personality he's just yeah like I said so curious playful cuddly just He's just such a nice person already. He's trying to sit up. Uh, if you sit him up for him, he will kind of stay sat up for a few seconds, but then he'll just kind of topple over. So we're gonna try and catch him when he does. Um, if you put him on the floor, he's gonna, he tries to kind of sit up from there, but he just usually ends up just doing sit ups. <laughs> He's also trying to crawl. Um, he can get his feet, or, like legs into position. He can get his arms into position, but he can't do both at the same time. So he just kind of ends up like swimming around everywhere. And yeah, rolling. He definitely can move. <laughs> like you put him down for two seconds and he'll be like the complete opposite side of the room that you put him on. So he is on the move, just not quite in the way that's expected, but he's getting there. Verbally, he is very much getting on. He is constantly babbling. Um, last month, he started screeching all the time, but thankfully he seems to have grown out of that one because it was giving me a bit of a headache. But yeah, he just talks all the time. Sometimes it sounds like he's saying words like, yeah, no, things like that, but I, I feel sometimes very hungry. I know he's probably not actually saying these words, like, and does has no idea what they mean, but obviously the fact that he's starting to make the sounds is definitely good. He's also, like, proper giggling now. I, if you do something and he just hysterically laugh until he gets bored and then just stops. Um, but it's things like the weirdest things will make him laugh. Like, I wiggle my toes at him, he laughs. I say something in a funny voice and he laughs. I can't remember that there was something the other day I was saying to him. I was saying it in a completely normal tone of voice, but he started laughing because obviously I guess he found the word funny. He's also blowing raspberries non-stop. It's his new favourite thing. He learned to do it a kind of a couple of days ago and yeah, he just basically hasn't stopped since. There was this little kind of, I want to say probably about one two year old yesterday in town walking along blowing raspberries. So naturally Magnus started blowing raspberries back at him. Like just two complete strangers just walking around just blowing raspberries at each other like you do. 
Eating wise, he we are doing baby led weaning and is off to a pretty slow start. For the first week or so, he just couldn't get his head around it at all. And then kind of he's he's eaten a bit of toast and some of those organics carrot stick things. But um yeah, we tried offering like pasta, noodles, I tried him with scrambled egg and things like that, he just can't work out at all. Um, I tried him with broccoli and that was interesting. <laughs> he did not seem very impressed with it. But obviously like you've got to try food with them so many times before you can decide, yep, that's it, they don't like this food. So we've just got to keep going on with that one. I'm not too worried with how slow he's taken. I know one day he's just gonna be like, ah, I see, this is how you eat. Um, that's going to be it. We're going to be why did I ever want him to eat anything? We are just never going to have any money because he's going to be all in his belly. He does, however, like to chew on and try and eat lots of non-edible things. His latest favourite seems to be socks. He has a bit of a thing for feet. Like, he will play with your socks, eat your socks, try and eat your feet, play with your feet. It's a bit... I don't like people touching my feet, so when he does it, it's like, Ugh. And he's still on nine ounces of formula. Uh, I think he was moving on to 10, but that's when like we started weaning him. So yeah, obviously the food has replaced that other ounce of milk. So it seems to be working quite well. He's still eating pretty regularly during the day, but like not at all at night. And when he wakes up, he tends to not want his bottle for about an hour or so, which I think he gets from me because I'm terrible at eating. I hate eating first thing in the morning. Like, it makes me physically ill. So I'm thinking he's probably just got that from me. He has actually started sleeping properly in his own bed. Very occasionally. Now, he will come in with us, but most of the time he's in his own bed and he will sleep all night in it, which is pretty amazing from what he used to be. But naps are still a bit of a tricky thing. He will nap probably uh, twice a day for half an hour at a time. So it makes of that and the fact that he tends to go to sleep about half eight and wake up about six, seven o'clock is kind of, I'm hoping he's getting enough sleep, <laughs> but I'm not really sure he is. I guess some babies just sleep a bit less than others and he's obviously one of those babies. He also, when we put him down as a car, or even in his pram, has this thing about blankets. He hates them. Like, he will just kick them off of himself. But he falls asleep cuddling them. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. He's definitely teething, but he doesn't have any teeth out yet. But he, like, if you sometimes he'll steal your hand, put him in his mouth, and he will just rub it frantically on his gums. So there's obviously something going on in there, just obviously not too visible yet. Like you can see it's kind of just underneath the gum and it's about to erupt out at any minute, but it's just not quite there yet. So yeah, I think by this next update, he will probably have at least one tooth. And that seems to be all I have. Um, yeah, ask down below if you want to know anything else about him. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you again on Friday. Bye!